Dobar dan i dobro dnešnu video lekciju iz engleskog jezika. Današnja tema je naša svakodnevnica i naša stvarnost koja se zove borba s koronavirusom. So today's lesson is fight coronavirus. Otkretno obrazovne ishodi današnjeg sata su Učenik razumije glavnu poruku i pronalazi ključne informacije u tekstu o koronavirusu. Učenik tumači nove riječi vezane uz temu. Učenik upotrebljava modalne glagole kako bi izrazio savjet, preporuku, dopuštenje ili zabranu, koristeći should, shouldn't, can, can't, must, don't have to ili mustn't. Te konačno učenik objašnjava pravilne načine prevencije širenja virusa. So, dear students, today I need you to stay at home, prepare your notebook and your pencil and please join to my activities. You probably listen to breaking news every day and you know that human civilization is facing a major global threat. I would ask you now to list and to think of the largest threats to the world. Maybe I could help you. Koji bi to bili najveći izazovi i opasnosti s kojima se globalno svijet može susresti? Maybe global warming, terrorism, nuclear war, alien invasion, human overpopulation, supervolcanic eruption or virus outbreak. Pojava ili izbijanje virusa. Virus, you probably can write at least three words you associate with the word virus. Možete znači zapisati u bilježnicu tri riječi na koje vas asocira riječ virus. We are now staying at home every day. We don't go to school and the way we live we live is a bit changed. I also have to follow some different and simple rules about everyday life and I prepared some stuff for staying at home and now I would like to share them with you. I also would like you to pick up five of these that you consider to be the most important. A hand sanitizer, znači nešto za dezinfekciju ruku. Wash your hands frequently. Stay at home. Protective mask. Not to shake hands or hug. Not to touch eyes, nose and mouth. Keep one to two meters distance from others. Water and buy lots of food. Cover the mouth when sneeze or cough. You have to know emergency 112 number. Listen to the radio or TV news. Not to go to public playgrounds. Public gatherings are forbidden. Zabranjena su javna okupljanja ljudi. People work from home and stay positive. Um, sva ova pravila ponašanja i mjere su uh, jednako važne, ali vjerojatno ste si probrali po vama najvažnije. But now we'll hear something more about coronavirus. Listen to the text that I'm going to read and find if there are any similarities with our everyday living now. Nations around the world are facing a major outbreak of a new deadly virus. The new coronavirus, COVID-19, is suspected to have come from illegally trade animals in the Wuhan market, China. As of March 21, 2020, the new coronavirus disease has spread to six continents and 186 countries and territories around the world. There are reported a total of 304,787 confirmed cases and over 13,000 deaths. In Croatia, there are 206 confirmed coronavirus infected today. The World Health Organization has officially named the outbreak pandemic a global health emergency. Most of countries are on lockdown for weeks. People can go to work, pupils and students can go to schools or universities. So they have online classes at home. 
all public places and borders are closed and we can't travel to other countries. The virus can be transmitted from person to person through the air. It can take up to 14 days for symptoms like a fever, a dry cough and breathing problems to manifest. In the period, people should be self-isolated or put into quarantines. Most coronavirus cases have been mild and healthy bodies can fight off the infection on their own. But people are afraid because there is no cure for the virus. It more likely infects all the people and those with a weak immune system. The measures that prevent the virus spreading include covering the mouth when sneeze or cough or wearing a mask, frequent hand cleaning with soap and water, and limiting close contacts with other people. Following these rules is how we will fight coronavirus. So you probably noticed some similarities with our everyday situation. And you also noticed uh, the new words on the bottom of the page that, in, uh, that are written in, um, in blue font. Let's repeat those, two, uh, those new words that we mentioned in the lesson. So help me to match the translation and English words. The first word that we have is quarantine. Hrvatski kažemo karantena ili zaraženih. Outbreak, izbijanje ili početak. World Health Organization, svjetska zdravstvena organizacija. Fever, groznica ili visoka temperatura. Major je nešto glavno, najveće, ozbiljno, vrlo važno. Cure je lijek, transmission je prijenos ili prijelaz. To sneeze je kihati, to cough je kašljati, infection zaraza. And now we have some statements. Some of them are true, but some of them are false. So help me to, to correct the false ones. A. Nations are facing a minor virus outbreak. The statement is not true because it's not a minor. Unfortunately, it's a major virus outbreak. There are over 13,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus disease. As you can see, this is false again, because the number is much, much bigger. 304,787 cases of coronavirus disease as of today, March, 3rd, uh, March 21. C. The coronavirus passes from person to person through the air. Okay, that's true. D. One of the symptoms of coronavirus is breathing difficulties. That's true. And the last one. There is no cure for coronavirus disease. It's true too. Let's move on. Now I have these pictures and words. I would like to divide them into two groups. On the left, means of transmission, načini prijenosa, and symptoms on the right. So, let's do it. Public gatherings, javna okupljanja, this is the means of transmission. Contaminated objects, znači inficirani ili zaraženi predmeti koje diramo. Sore throat, je bolno grlo, human contact. Fever. Close contact and cough. Okay, now we have five means of transmission. Imamo pet načina mogućeg prijenosa and four symptoms. So, the means of transmission of coronavirus are public gathering through the air, contaminated objects that we touch, close contact in the air when somebody sneezes, breathe or, or cough, poor hygiene, it means that we don't wash our hands regularly, and human contact. Symptoms can be breathing difficulties, fever, cough, and sore throat. Let's move on on another lesson. This is the traffic lights. Red means something serious. 
like some something forbidden and green means that you can pass on okay i have a sentence you mustn't forget your keys so this is very serious one you must use the seat belt you don't have to get up early so you can choose you can touch my dog this is permission you should have breakfast every morning treba bi doručkovati svakoga jutra this is advice. So why do, do we need those sentences? I would like you to observe the verbs mustn't, must, don't have to, can and should. I would like now to ask you to help me to make the rules and measures for everyday behavior of the people while fighting coronavirus. What about washing hands? What would you say? I would say that you must wash your hands frequently. Morate prati redovito ruke. What about school? You don't have to go to school. Ne morate ići u školu. You must keep the distance. Morate održavati razdaljinu između sebe i ostalih ljudi. You should stay at home. Trebali biste ostati kod kuće. You should wear a mask. Trebali biste nositi masku. And you must cover your mouth and nose when cough or sneeze. Morate nositi, morate pokriti usta i nos kada kašljete ili kišete kako bi zaštitili i druge i sebe. Let's do some more activities. Uh, shops are closed, so you can't go shopping. Public playground. You mustn't go to public playgrounds. Shaking hands. You mustn't shake hands because it's a human contact. And something that you can do. You can watch more video lessons on the website školazaživot.hr video lekcije every day as much as you like. Something about your parents. People should work from home. If it's, if it's possible, that would be great. And you should avoid touching your nose, eyes or mouth. Dirati što manje oči. And now, here is the word cloud of the new words that we mentioned in the lesson today. I would like to offer you two activities. The written ones, you can choose each you like. Odaberite aktivnost za zadaču koju želite. Prvo. Write about the best things that you think people should prepare and have for the coronavirus epidemic lockdown. Name three reasons why you think so. For example, that could be water, mask, hand sanitizer, self-isolation, quarantine, food, painkiller, etc. Odaberite što bi po vama bilo najvažnije za vrijeme kada boravimo kod kuće u našoj borbi protiv epidemije virusa, ali navedite tri razloga zašto baš to. Ili želite biti više kreativni, pa vam nudim sljedeću aktivnost. Create digital message of hope and support to nurses and doctors, volunteers, self-isolated people, people in quarantines, hospitals, or any one of us waiting to back to normal life. It could be your teacher, friend, neighbor, etc. Odaberite nekog od ovih dragih ljudi i napišite im virtualnu poruku nade i podrške. And for the end, when you spend so much time with your parents at home, you could be more creative and do some of these activities. Što možete raditi ovih dana kod kuće? You can watch online classes on Sportska TV. You can watch more video lessons on website Škola za život HR video lekcije. You can read books or tell stories. Play board games with your family. Uh, collect family photos or rearrange them. Start a garden in your backyard if it's possible. You can talk and hang around with your family and try some new recipes and cook together. And the most important, Stay safe and strong. You are not alone. We'll fight it together. Good luck. Thank you for your attention. See you on some other lesson. Goodbye and good luck.